all right guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be working with this 17e 1969 horse box as you can see it is in rough shape we do still have the door that's a plus but we do not have uh, the horses it's supposed to be two horses but we'll be okay I, I, I can live without the horses uh, you can see the the metal is in very bad shape the axles are in very bad shape You can see the, the 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 axle they're rusted and on the small side of the small side of the axle it's just a mess just a mess it is very light so if i can't Uh, can't make this to go loose I'm gonna have to make new axles so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in, uh, in vinegar hopefully uh, you can see I don't think that's gonna work look the axle is turning with the wheels yeah it's stuck this one, yeah, that one came, that one got loose. You see it's turning, but there's still not enough space to uh, recreate that axle. try this one yeah this one is in there I'm gonna have to cut them off so I'm gonna have to cut the axles off and uh, try a different method to get those wheels out of the axle so how about we drill this apart so we could take a look and see how we could take this off. Because I don't think it could come off just like that. It might have another inside. So we're going to drill it apart and we'll see where we could go from there. All right, guys, so here it is. It did have a piece of plastic there holding it on the roof. I'm gonna be cleaning this off with uh, warm soapy water. I, uh, I think most of the, uh, that footage is gonna be out of focus or out of frame, but I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing. I think I broke the little tap of the window that's weird because they designed it like that because they didn't have uh, a way to secure the the windshield in there since it had the the other plastic post there so um it looks like i have enough space here if not not worry about it I'm most likely gonna drill it even if it goes all the way through since it's not gonna be seen 
it don't matter. It's more important to have the screw to uh, hold everything in place. I'm gonna drill it and I'll be back. All right, check it out. Got the screw in. And it doesn't stick all the way out on the other side. Which means that once I remove the paint, I can come back, fix this. And uh, once everything's put back together, uh, nobody's gonna know that uh, the drill bit went all the way through. Except all of you guys that are watching this video. But you ain't gonna tell nobody. All right, so uh, let me cut the axles and uh, remove the paint. All right, guys, check it out. This one was definitely a tough one to get all the paint out or off. Um, I still have a lot of people telling me that I don't show how I remove paint. So I to tell you again for the new guys, I use this lava jar, which is actually uh, the citrus uh, stripper. And uh, I usually when I have the casting I just tie it a little a little cord and just dip it in there and um, when I drill out cars I usually do like two or three at a time so I do three you know two or three at the time in the paint remover and uh, I usually try to spread the work around that way it doesn't feel like actual work you know and plus i don't have a lot of time to sit and uh do a complete custom i just don't have the time to do one you know a custom sitting down and just do one straight up so i just leave it in there and you know maybe next day or two days i go by and take it off clean it up with a toothbrush and sometimes it, everything comes off and sometimes like this guy right here it doesn't want to come off so I cleaned it off with a toothbrush and uh, I still had a lot of paint so I used a uh, a brass wire brush cleaned it up a little bit and just dipped it in there again and you can see pretty much everything 99% came off uh, I want to remove that so I'm gonna be using my Dremel with a, a wire brush adapter to get all that off and I also want to show you this remember the axles were rusted out so this is white vinegar with uh, how is it called Epsom salt so I put white vinegar Epsom salt and I just stir it until you see all the crystals dissolve and it's been in there for uh i want to say two days or three i don't know so we're going to be taking it off from here and uh, out of here and see if the the wheels come off the axle and i'll be back Okay, so there's still a little, oh, this, this one moved a little, we need something solid to knock it out of, so I'm going to put this here, oh, you can't see nothing, let me bring the camera down, so this way the little mushroom 
it's free to move and let's try to hit it and there it is came off now it doesn't have a clean cut as you can see so I gotta clean this off to be able to take off the the wheel I'll be back all right guys so now all I gotta do is wash them with uh, warm soapy water get that the rest of that uh, rust residue out and uh, use use my uh, black wash clean them up real nice now where is it right here this is the front grill as you can see it's not looking very good so I don't want to clean this with steel wool because you know it's gonna get damaged and I want to see exactly what's damaged here and for me to be able to do that I want to remove the chrome so best way to do that without you know peeling it off or scratching it off is use Clorox I have a little Clorox here and we're just gonna dip it Bloop. and Again, I'm not in a hurry, so maybe tomorrow uh, all, the, all that chrome is going to be gone. And then I could really inspect it and use my chrome pen to re-chrome what I need to be chrome. Which, if you know, it's only this top part, the headlights and the front bumper. So I'm going to do that and I'll be back. Alright guys, quick update, check it out, I think I got this pretty clean, so I did some light sand in here on the top, I was able to erase a lot of the scratches, then I went ahead with some uh, turtle wax, and then some automotive uh, car shine, I mean I could keep sanding but It'll probably mess it up. That's as good as it's gonna get. And we have here the front grill. Remember, we put this in Clorox. I put tape on top just so it doesn't spill. So we have now a completely black grill. So I'm gonna cut this open and I'll be back. Let's get this out of here. All right, so I'm gonna clean this up with a toothbrush, get all that Clorox residue out, and I'll be back. All right, guys, check it out. So the front grill is not as damaged as uh, I thought. You can see that uh, the lines are not really that messed up. So I'm thinking it was the the chrome plating that actually made it look uh, all that messed up. And I'm thinking this casting was either uh close to some kind of acid or uh brake fluid because um uh, that uh the way the paint looked that's how you know 
that's what actually brake fluid does to the paint. And uh, on that subject, I had painted the casting uh, red and I, would, I started to get some like bubbles on the side because the paint did not want to stick even though I was baking it in an oven like I usually do with my cars. So I had to strip it and uh, do the electro polish. And I think you're gonna like the result. I posted a picture asking what color and uh, hope you guys like how it turned out. So now I'm gonna use the liquid chrome pen here. I'm gonna use a two millimeter to paint. I know the bumper is pretty beat up here but I, I don't want to sand uh, I should really install the axle first with the wheels but uh, I don't want to make any noise right now so I'm just gonna do the front grille here so remember this is the only part that's sticking out out of the casting and Let's do the headlights. I gotta get used to looking at the screen and not over the camera, but that's actually the best way I could see what I'm doing. I don't want to mess it up. Plus, if it goes out of zoom, I really can't do anything because I can't touch. I can't touch the screen. So that doesn't matter because you're not going to be able to see that once it's installed but I do want to go all around the bumper here and underneath and with this if you never used the chrome pen before I find that uh one try don't touch it because it's going to get messed up but you want to get it uh you don't want to dab. You want to run it like this, and it'll settle down and uh, get as shiny as it could be. Like right there, that should be enough. I'm sorry if it was out of focus, but I don't want to mess it up. So the rest of the of the piece I'm gonna leave it black. There's no need to chrome it out the way it was. So I'm just gonna let this sit for a little while. Come on now. And uh wait until it fully cures to be able to mount mount the new axle and uh The tires, which I have uh, washed and um, used my uh, black wash. You see, guys, seen it before. If you haven't, remember I have links in the video description. Let me get the wheels so you can see them. All right. So they've been sitting here now for like two or three days. I think they look pretty, pretty new. That black wash really gives a, a very nice result. So now, basically all I gotta do is wait for this to set and cure and wait for the casting to uh, also cure to be able to put it all together. So I'll be back. All right guys, check it out. Boom. Look at this beauty. Hey, watch watch your eyes. Watch your eyes. Look at this. So I I have painted this red, but uh if you remember what we started with, it had a lot of corrosion, but uh, the corrosion was kind of peeling the paint. 
and that's not normal it might have come in contact with um, brake fluid or some kind of acid and uh, this uh, paint is actually Spectra Flame Hot Wheels a combination if you watch my previous video remember I did the orange Spectra Flame orange Mustang Hong Kong version here and look at the difference so as soon as I got done painting this it had a little bit of paint at the end of the airbrush I added Spectra Flame gold and it gave me this color very nice kind of like it and this color goes very good with the uh, green so here is the front grille with the axles mounted and everything for axles I used the um, 1 16th uh, brass rod here it is made by KNS you can get this on eBay I'll try to leave a link on uh, the video description and uh, all you gotta do is mushroom both sides of the of the uh, axle that you just cut uh, one thing to note it is that uh, one the, the 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 wheels are not perfect and the rod it's not equally perfect either so I suggest uh, once you cut the piece that you need put it in a drill or uh, your Dremel I think is better and once it's turning give it uh, with some sandpaper go up and down and uh, try to even it out because some like here some some wheels go on very nice and they they roll very nice and on others they're kind of tight this is kind of tight but you know again since it's free it moves freely i'm okay with it you know and tires are in there secure and they're not going anywhere so what we got to do now is put this thing back together and on the beginning I said I was going to cover this, but I did when I was doing enamel. But it's not going to look very good with a uh, spectra flame, so I just, I didn't bother. And I dabbed a little red paint here on the back, which simulates uh, the taillight. There it is. And all I'm doing now try to fix the light here let's see I'm gonna use gorilla gel glue put a little dab in there and make it a little bit quicker I use baking soda just a little dab it dries the glue immediately and I can continue with installing the windshield so I'm gonna go do all this and uh, I'll meet you on the other side. guys so a quick reminder on what we started with and check it out look at that front grill so definitely not a uh, 
very sought after model but it definitely turned out pretty pretty nice I think the color combination turned out very nice I think the orange with gold goes with that uh, blue windshield and uh, the green box and uh, accidentally I made a matchbox chase with gold axles how you like me now just kidding just kidding check it out it was definitely a lot of work I didn't think this model you know being so simple but you know it was a challenge definitely a challenge sorry guys this that's gonna be it for today thank you for watching and uh remember to subscribe hit that little uh bell button if you're watching this on uh, facebook come on over to youtube where you can watch more videos on my channel so again thank you for watching peace out later